Hello everyone. Uh, today's video is a quick review. This is not a paid review, by the way. It's a quick review of this uh, DD Pi Mola N3 dash cam. What's interesting about this new model of Mola N3 from DD Pi is that instead of using batteries in the dash cam, this uses a super capacitor, right? So do you know that actually? Uh, dash cams, uh, most of them has got a lithium ion battery in them uh, so that when you turn off your car's engine uh, it will finish recording, finish saving the file in the SD card by using the small little battery and that battery it may not last after you have used the dash cam after some time and especially in Malaysia's weather where it is very hot uh, those lithium ion batteries can get bloated, they can get damaged in very short amount of time. So that's the reason why I chose this uh, DD Pi Mola N3 dash cam because they, they don't use those lithium ion battery. And plus, it has an option for GPS, which I chosen here. Uh, this GPS uh, mount here will provide the information to the dash cam so as it records, it will keep track of uh, probably the GPS location, the speed, and the app itself that exports the video will be able to do some fancy stuff with the data. That's what I heard. We can try it out later. Now it's time for unboxing. So we have the instruction manual. Looks like there's even more stuff in it. User guide. There's an electrostatic film so that instead of uh, sticking the dash cam right onto the, the windscreen, you can stick on this film itself so that it doesn't damage your windscreen's tint. This is the adhesive piece. This is the dash cam. There is no screen on the dash cam. All the configuration will be done on the app. Inside of the box, they provide a very long USB to micro USB cable. There is this plastic pry tool to help you for your installation. This is the mount that sticks on the windscreen and this connects to the, to the dash cam and it provides the GPS data. They also included a 2 port USB charger, 1 ampere and 2 amperes. Let's see how does the mount work. So this is the GPS mount. It actually already has an adhesive and this will stick onto the electrostatic film that they give. And this, and this sticks to the windscreen. This thing can be adjusted for its angle. The camera itself has a type C. This port is a type C port. The button here is to release. If I guess if you want you can stick it this way onto the windscreen, right? And it's pointing outwards. And there is a function where you can flip this to the other side if you want to record the interior of the car instead. It should slot right in. There you go. The mount accepts a micro USB port. So let's try plugging it in. Hello, Ding Ding Pi. Oh, it speaks. Oh, so DD Pi actually means Ding Ding Pi. Okay, so I have now installed a DD Pi Mola entry onto my windscreen. I just put it behind the a uh, rear view mirror and then I run the wire up the roof and then down the A pillar and the power source comes from inside the glove box so this is how it looks well this DD Pi Mola N3 has got a very interesting feature which is called the SR so you can make uh, you can export videos with the GPS data and as well as the uh, G sensor data so I'm going to try now doing some skits and see how does it affect the g-force meter in the videos video 
take a head start. have tested the uh, camera in the car where we do some acceleration braking and then some uh, skidding around uh, then one of the feature that I really hope to work is the the SR here where it is supposed to use the GPS information to display the speed uh, the g-force and the heading and I thought this would be very cool for youtubers like me to share my driving videos maybe it's some kind of like toge videos drifting videos and track day videos where you can feel my 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 driving experience through the video however it's very sad that when i were to download the videos so even after downloading the videos there is just no sr data being displayed on the screen and what's worse is that uh, what I realized if you are using an Apple device what you get from the preview is just not having any data you see it's 0 kmh just no heading no no information but actually this information are available on Android phone but again the same thing happens on Android phone you will only have uh, this information when you preview on the app not when you save the video file when you save the file, all this uh, cool cluster of the speed and the g-force, they are all not present. That's very disappointing. As a conclusion, this DD Pi Mola entry is probably good for ordinary people who wants to record their ordinary uh, traffic uh, videos. Uh, just a regular dash cam feature use. Uh, it's a bit disappointing that those GPS data, the like SR uh, that is supposed to be imprinted on the videos, they are very disappointing. So if you are planning to use it as your action camera for your motorsports, um, perhaps you look for some GoPro that has GPS and, and try to render it uh, post-processing. It is not worth it to use this uh, DD Pi Mola entry uh, for those action purposes. But if you have any idea or better suggestion on how to use it, please feel free to drop me a comment so that I won't feel so disappointed. Okay, so if you like this video, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button or the like button and share the video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.